Hey everyone, today we are in East Palestine, Ohio, where that train derailed. It seems like all the trains this morning have been going by very slow ever since. Since I was near the area, I came here to look at what they have set up in all the waterways to collect all the toxins. There is still a lot of that stuff set up. We'll, we'll go take a look at that in a moment. take a look right here as we're about to turn in here you can see that the EPA has a bunch of sprinklers set up here to agitate the water every single little bridge and culvert has those white signs that say keep out testing and cleaning in process you see every culvert pipe every bridge has those white signs see over there on the left Take a look off that bridge. Got a lot of sprinklers set up down there. Gigantic water pump running there, agitating the water. They got those signs at every single waterway, culvert and bridge. And right here, I thought this was pretty interesting. In the town right next to East Palestine, you see right here, they're putting utility lines in. I think what they're doing here is sewer. But I thought this was pretty interesting because they have the river blocked here. And you see they're bypassing all the water. And they're digging a trench under the river to put utilities in. This area looks so cool. The beavers flooded the whole area, so all the trees are just about dead. But look, look at all those birds' nests. I think there's, yeah, I even see some of the birds. That is so cool. I don't know what kind of birds those are, but I've never seen nests like that. That looks really cool in this beaver swamp. That's really cool. Oh, look at that. There's even a blue heron that just went flying. See it walking down there? There it goes, there it goes. He's right behind that tree. Oh, I see more of those birds flying. See, it just landed up in their nest. You know, it's very ironic that I was just showing you dead trees because I was just thinking about how driving through Pennsylvania and now Ohio, I'm only going to be in Ohio for today, just grazing it a little bit, going back to, into Pennsylvania for a few days before going home. I was just thinking about how being in Pennsylvania and here in Ohio is actually pretty good for my mental health because I'm seeing all the trees, all the forest, it looks healthy. It's so hard to find a dead or sick tree around here. They all look good. Back in Pennsylvania the past couple days, driving through giant forest of white pine and evergreens, they were all looking very healthy. All the trees were starting to bud. It's very good for my mental health and I'm seeing how your surroundings and environment really affect you because where I am, Almost every tree looks sick from all the infestation of in invasive insects. They're all dying out. But around here, it's so nice seeing trees that are actually healthy. Oh, we got a train coming. We made it just in time. The gates just came down. Put the windows down. I don't hear anything. When I'm sitting long periods of time, I always put the car in neutral. Better for the transmission instead of just sitting there 
I'm shaking. I think this train's just pulling off. Maybe. I can hear in the distance air brakes like it's just pulling off.
And there's the end of the train. Sorry about that noise. I didn't even realize that was my ringtone on this new phone. Never got a phone call on it, I think. Well, usually I have it on silence. That's the first time I've ever heard this phone ring, and I thought that was the train at first, that weird noise. Gotta call my grandpa back. All right, so, saw an interesting train there. It's amazing how quiet some of those cars are with the new wheel bearings, while other ones are just super duper loud with those flat spots. Unfortunately, the flat spots are on the ones that are tankers. Well, most of them anyways. The tankers all had flat spots. We're in the area, so I think I'm gonna get lunch at gas station encounters before we head back to Pennsylvania. I'm gonna try to find a very woodsy road to head back to Pennsylvania on. We can drive through some beaver swamps, look for interesting things.